Samsung Galaxy S7 Take Apart Repair Guide. Warning, you are performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you will need a plastic triangle opening tool, nylon spudger, fine tip curve tweezers, precision knife set, premium 2mm red adhesive roll, multi-purpose heat gun, professional Phillips screwdriver, playing cards, Power down your Samsung Galaxy S7 phone. Remove the nano SIM card and micro SD card tray. The Samsung Galaxy S7 rear panel is soundly glued on and is a snug fit within the frame. Apply heat to soften the adhesive. With the precision knife, create enough space to insert a plastic triangle opening tool. Use triangle opening tools to slice through the adhesive and help carefully separate the glass rear panel from the Galaxy S7 phone. Apply additional heat as needed. Remove the following 12 Phillips screws. With the tweezers, remove the three modular pieces. These individual components are connected to the motherboard by way of tiny spring contacts. They include the S7's antenna, loudspeaker, and wireless charging coil. Detach the S7 battery from the motherboard. The battery is well wedged and adhered in place. Use the triangle opening tool to work around the battery and set it free from the adhesive securing it to the frame. Remove the 3000 mAh Galaxy S7 battery from the phone. Detach and remove the Samsung Galaxy S7 5 megapixel front facing selfie camera. Disconnect the multitude of cables from the motherboard, including the daughter board connector on its underside.
Remove the Galaxy S7 motherboard. With the spudger, detach the 12 megapixel Galaxy S7 rear facing camera and remove it from the motherboard. Use the tweezers to carefully remove the S7 spring contact applied vibrator. Pry up and remove the earpiece speaker. With the tweezers, peel up and remove the Galaxy S7 proximity sensor, ambient light, and notification LED cable. Utilizing the tweezers, pry up the volume buttons cable, followed by the small bracket and remove both from the S7 phone. Remove the power button cable and then the bracket from the side of the S7 frame. Disconnect the signal cable from the S7 daughter board. Remove the falling Phillips screw. Detach and easily remove the S7 headphone jack, complete with rubber seal. Use the heat gun to warm up the adhesive securing the Galaxy S7 LCD screen and digitizer assembly to the frame. With the precision knife, carefully create separation and insert a triangle opening tool to start slicing through the adhesive. Take your time and apply additional heat as needed. Work around the S7 phone using a combination of triangle opening tools and a playing card. Once you've sliced through the adhesive, be mindful of the home button and bottom soft buttons when decoupling the S7 display assembly from the frame. Remove the following two Phillips screws. Flip the frame over and peel up the adhesive.
Feed the cable through the frame and remove the Galaxy S7 home button with fingerprint scanner. Peel up the S7 soft button LED cables. With the tweezers and a little help from the spudger, carefully remove the Samsung Galaxy S7 micro USB port assembly from the frame. The assembly also includes the primary microphone and soft button cables.
Make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.